Hello YouTubers, gamers, and pixel art lovers. My name is Kitchen, and this game is called Despot's Game. I'll be introducing it to you today. I have already played it quite a bit. Uh, Despot's Game had a free trial period uh, a few months back, and I ended up actually playing it a whole bunch, then they closed it off. I was very sad about that. It came out in October then, uh, and just yesterday I received an email in my inbox with a free review key. So I'm very excited. Thank you to Confa Games for that. Uh, Despot's Game is a roguelike auto battler with a very funky soundtrack. And uh, I think without further ado, the best way to explain this game is just to play it for you. We are going to be playing on normal mode because, uh, well, in order to play any other mode, we need to do some unlocks first. So, you play on normal, we get mortal cashback, which means that we have a chance to loot an item back from one of our characters when they die. Uh, it is kind of like an army builder, which is what they call it. There's different setups that you can play with, but we can we have to unlock everything first. So we start with a sword guy, a, a crossbow dude, and a tower shield. We'll just dive right in and I'll explain everything as we go along. It's like a quick fire game. You play a few rounds, you die, you, you play again, and you try to get more unlocks and stuff, right? So, at the beginning of the game, uh, we have a little menu up here. The UI shows us we have tokens, which are used to buy things. We have an amount of humans, puny humans, and then food. Food uh, is required every time we move from one room to another through a door here. We, every human will eat one food. So we will be eating four per room that we pass through. We'll quickly increase our number of humans, though, so that we'll require quite a bit of food. We don't die when it runs out, but then our humans get weaker. Now, this menu over here shows us what kind of humans we currently have. We have newbies, like this guy here. You see, he, he doesn't have any things. Uh, he's just very enthusiastic. He, he's got a lot of gusto. He's got low stats and everything. And uh, they, they this is what they look like when we buy them as a base. Then we can also buy items and give them to the humans and then they come become special. So like this guy has a shield, tower shield. It'll give him various bonuses to, to various stats. This is a very tanky guy. Also noted by the fact that he's from the tank class. Then we have a sword, just a sword. <laughs> he's from the fencer class and then a shooter with a crossbow and so on and so forth. Now there's a, another little thing there to note, like if we lo hover over the ability here, uh, if we have two more humans of the tank class, but with different items, so not with the shield, but with other tank items, we start to unlock some bonuses, some, some abilities and stuff. And that will be true for all the types. So we, we don't have, I don't want to go through and explain them all like here. This one's very easy to understand. I'll go through this one, the critical hit for the swords. If we have one more human with uh, an item, a different item of this class, their attacks would do 1.4 damage 20% uh, of the time, like a critical hit, right? And you can upgrade that by having more type of types of fences and so on and so forth. We'll, we'll talk more about them as we unlock them throughout the playthrough. Right now, we just want to move ahead, go through the first room, an enemy will spawn. We can do a little setup dance over here. I like to put my archer up front so he gets the first uh, blood of the fight. And we hide the human, the puny human, without anything in the back line there. So let's try this out. Now, it has been quite a while since I played this game, mind you. Uh, so we'll do our best. Food can then be bought in here. This is noted also by on the map here. This icon means we can buy food in this specific room. Can't do that in every room. And we generally want to buy the more expensive thing here will give us more food per token. So we buy that and we leave the burger behind. But you buy the burger if you really need it, right? Just like in real life. I'm not sure if that makes sense. We generally want them to hit the tank because he's got more HP. So let's try this setup out. Yes, that's worked. He targeted the tank. Good stuff. And then we can't affect the fight. We can go faster or stop it, but we can't really actually affect them once the, the fight button is clicked. It is called an auto battle for that reason. We got lucky here, and I'll tell you why. There's the first aid kit, and my favorite class in this game is the healer. 
uh, it gives us a lot of sustainability. You'll note that this guy, having gone for a few fights now, hasn't healed at all. So the only way to heal your units is to have a healer who will then heal them during the fights. So we'll try to set that up early. I'm not sure... Oh, he does heal even if there are no other healers present. Cool. Um, now we could buy more humans and weapons for them, but there's also another thing that we want to spend money on. Let's talk about mutations a bit. Here's one mutation that is very, uh, well, important to understand. We, we already have this one. This one we started because with because of this type of run, the normal run. Uh, there's a 50% chance if one of our humans dies that they, they will drop the item and give it back to us so we can reuse it on another puny human. And that's nice. Not a thing that will be true for all runs, so keep that in mind. We can buy extra health for our humans. We can buy extra mana. Uh, the healer will spend mana to heal people, so that's something. And we can do a thrill addiction here that allows the, uh, the restocking the shop with items to be cheaper and it also leads into a sale button which is of course very important to get early on so we want to get the the uh this unit uh, this this bonus and then the sale as soon as possible that's at least my favorite strategy is to just go through that and also health bonus for all humans is important so there's a lot of stuff that's really important in the mutation tab while meanwhile the ones that can fight you know and, and do the damage are in here so maybe we should buy another human yeah it's tricky let me buy one ah and then i also i do like this uh tesla coil thing so maybe i splooge a bit and show you guys a cool thing cart full of secrets so it lowers his uh speed movement speed but it has six range and a fairly good amount of defense and uh, and attack this is a little range guy look at him he's very cool uh, he is a what a scientist i think an egghead <laughs> and if there are three if we have three of them then they will put up a buff tower this one over here a buff tower which doesn't specify what the buff tower does actually but it is uh, a, a nice thing to have as you might imagine so this is just another ranged unit that will start throwing stuff around for us we'll set up like this we'll have the, the medic up front in fact uh, you'll see why soon. So here is the boss room, and in here will be a shop, I think. No, 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 oh, this is a free mutation. Beautiful. We do have to complete a fight first, so let's pull back a bit here. Now we want to distance ourselves from the, en from the enemy so that the healer has more time to heal my dude here. So you see, he, he goes and tries to target the, the most damaged units, and we'll try to heal them while we fight. So I think we actually ended up, I'm not sure what he had before, but at least we didn't take damage during that fight. And we got a way to die. All abilities are uh, 1.18 times more likely to trigger. Hmm. Things that have a chance to trigger, I suppose, are more likely to trigger. And then we get that one for free. Like so, it is added to our current list of mutations in here. I don't think that did anything for us, because we don't have anything that has a chance of triggering at the moment. But maybe we can get that later, like the critical hit from the fencer. Uh, the, the heal has a 100% chance to trigger, so that's not relevant for that. All right. Let's see, he, had a, he has 150 health here. Let's see if we can actually heal him up during the fight. No, he is taking damage. Now, oh, we could buy another healer, though. And the more of them we have of the same class, but with different items, the better their ability becomes. So now they heal 25 per heal, and now that there's two of them, so now they will heal what him for 50 per cast, right? Put that there, we'll make like a gauntlet for him to run through. Maybe we put him back a bit, because in fact, this guy has now more health to tank with. So put him there. All right. And the next up is the boss already, oof. Okay, we could buy another thing, like the heavy ball here is from the thrower class. So then we're not comboing with anything that we already have. This would be another ranged unit for us. We have 19 tokens, so just one short of being able to buy the bonus health, which would be nice. Hmm. Hmm. I'm worried that we might lose some units during the boss fight. 
So I think we buy... Well, I really want to upgrade my stuff. Hmm. No, I think we should buy the heavy ball. There. <laughs> he becomes a football player. Uh, they will have a bomb thing, but nothing right now. He has range what? Range... 4. Range 10. This one's very slow, range 6. So maybe put him up further, and then like this. Something like this should be okay. I just clicked a button over here by accident, so that's interesting. We spent some money to upgrade shops. All shops will have that upgrade from now on. It makes it more likely for us to have rare and, and by the way, more stuff in the shop. So that it is really a good thing to do. We should spend our resources on other stuff first, though. So that was a little misclick. Fun stuff. All right. Let us hope that we don't lose too many units during this fight. This is a big Model B enemy. Oh, he's attacking my... Big dude there. Oh, very interesting. We haven't lost anyone yet, and we're healing. Nice. We carried us through it. He did damage to almost all of my units, though, but we didn't lose anyone. So that was a victory in my book, and we have 22 tokens. Cool. We Another shop. We usually yeah, we get an event at the beginning of each floor. So here we have cherubs. The humans meet a group of white-winged babies. They flutter around a fountain, singing cute songs. They probably chase like chicken. Let the hunt begin. But like a ranged hunt, no direct conflict. Or we can request an angelic blessings. Blessing. Are we not worthy? I don't know that we are worthy. Um, let's try it. As soon as the cherubs see your party, they fly away in horror. Tough luck. Must be Morty's fault. The unrepentant sinner. <laughs> sure. Not sure why Morty was targeted for that. Morty, the Morty quack. Maybe the healers are considered uh, sinners for some reason. There's more stuff to buy, but again, I really want to save up some power here. So let's go to the mutation room over here. Save up some tokens is what I meant. Okay. Hmm. Everything is wounded, so it doesn't really matter where I put my guys. I think there's no one that I would rather have up front, I think. I think we just do it like this. Oh, don't die. Oh, we're healing. Good. Oh, he teleports away, that bastard. Right. He's a stun mechanic. But look at that, we got him. What is this? Remote heal. Healers heal allies from a distance. They already do, but I think this is increases their range. And here we have a evasion, giving throwers a 30% chance to evade enemy attacks. Okay, and we get these for free. But I can also have, I also have free rerolls, which is interesting. Fighters can't be knocked down. We don't have any fighters. We already heal from a distance. I don't think this is worth getting. Let's try to free reroll this one. We got. Uh, we do have a fencer, so what is this? Fencers can't be knocked down. Okay, here. Aura, aura, aura. Ah, this is a JoJo's reference. Uh, once every 20 seconds, fighters increase their attack speed by 100% for 5 seconds, costing 16 mana. So again, we would have to get some fighters first, which is like they're like martial artists, and then stun. Tricksters can stun enemies for 1.5 seconds every 13 seconds for 40 mana. Oh, I should have gotten that uh, that evade thing because we have a higher chance of triggering the evade and stuff like that. Okay, let's reroll again. Here, fencers attacks deal 20% splash damage. Okay, and fencers here, resurrection. Once per fight, fencers can rise from the dead with 20% health if they have 120 mana. And this fencer has a 70 mana as a base. So if we wanted to activate that, we would have to get some mana. Uh, this would give him 10 extra mana. Or 30, sorry, up to 100. And then we would have to buy it again to get him above that limit. So, hmm. Or the remote heal upgrade. Now, I guess we'll try to, for Resurrection, we'll have to just build towards it, right? Uh, there's a shop coming up. Both of these dots indicate shops. So then the thrill into sale. We can upgrade the sale further, but just 25% is a pretty big deal. 
And then wide selection here. What is this? Increases free mutation rerolls at the altar by one. Not sure if that's necessary to get one more altar room per level is really good. Buying food restores percentage of human's health equal to the number of tokens spent, but you gotta spend so many tokens to get here. Okay, six tokens left. We just move on. Yep. Oh, lots of enemies, spoiled enemies here. Interesting. Okay, I think you have to move back a bit. You come down here. The healers themselves are not really tanks, but the enemy, my other guys will run up front anyway, so I think this is fine. Oh, we can auto play selected humans. Huh. No, no, no. Fight. Ooh, these are all the spinny guys. Damn. That's intense. We're gonna lose people here. I will save the, the final guy up top. Heal him. Nice. Okay, we lost one. Uh, defensor, but we did get the sword back, so that's nice. We get a sail on the Elden Charmed Ring. Okay, and that's another ranged attack. But for 13. Still, despite the sail, that's pretty intense. Let me buy that human back, uh, another human, and so that costs us only two, two uh, tokens to replace the sword guy. So, I mean, that's not so bad, but they also gain XP over time, right? Some of them are level 2. Another reason why it's good to have healers is that you keep your current units alive so they get more XP and level up and become stronger that way for free, without spending more food per unit, right? right? So that's really nice. Uh, I do want the mana bonus into more mana so that we can get that uh, resurrection thing going. I might even just buy the Justice Sword. If I buy this one, oh, it would be 40 to get it again. Damn. You have 15, what is this? Can't read what it does. You have fast reload. All ability cooldowns are shorter. That would be good for the healers. For 15, can't afford it. But I'll buy another sword guy. And try to get that combo going. You would need 40 mana for that though. Hmm. That was probably a mistake than trying to go for it. But we'll see. Um, Anna Skywalker. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, we gotta get some food, which is this direction. So, yeah. I think these are more of the spinny guys, probably. You a little bit up front. This guy at the back. He will be healed early on. Maybe we move you here. He can tank the most. He's got the most protection armor, which it deducts from incoming damage. Can't deduct it below one, but then that's pretty good, right? Compared to the six of a normal sword guy. So even though they have about the same health, the tank is much more, well, tanky. It is the spin guys. Yeah. But the healing carries us through the battle without any losses. Beautiful. 13 t tokens, we buy the most expensive food that we can, so we stock back up. There's an event over here, and we can teleport to this zone, which I think we should. And then we'll teleport back. This is, I didn't mention that, but these dots in here indicate that this is a teleporter room, and you can teleport to other teleporter rooms. So let's teleport up there. Saving you some food, because we would have to pay for walking through empty rooms as well, in, in terms of food. Oh, we didn't pay to teleport. Isn't that interesting? I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. Uh, this is probably just more spinny guys, so... Oh, no, don't die. You. Oh, so close. So we lost one, and we didn't get the sword back that time. Okay. Too bad. Oh, there's a sail on the tower shield there. That's tempting, and I will buy it. And then buy a human to carry it. Now, it's worth noting that when I do this, I buy another of the same type of item, so they don't do anything for the combo of the tank. Here we need three different items, but they're still good units, right? So that's why I'm doing it. Yeah, I hope I'm doing right by that. You're a wizard, Harry. Oh. 
got a follower on Twitch here. Still haven't figured out how to turn that off. Oh well. Uh, save this one in the back so that he doesn't get cut down. Moving on here, let's see what we find. More spinny guys, I think. They're super annoying. Let's spread out a bit. Maybe pull back a bit so the range unit has more of a time to get up front and shoot. Yeah, but at this point we are trashing these guys pretty hard, so that's nice. Uh, we will again invest heavily in the food. Uh, I tend to always run out of food, as far as I recall. So, uh, trying the, the strat of just buying as much as we can early on. Got another teleport room coming up, that's really good. More spinny guys. Okay, we should be on top of this one though. I'm very confident here. There's a lot of them though. Kill them? Yeah, but they don't really hurt the, the shield guys that much, right? Because they're high protection and the low damage from them. Sail of a sword? Well, sure. 16 tokens in store. I will buy another human to carry the sword. Um, 40 again to, to be able to afford that. That's too much. I mean, you can't afford the extra health bonus here. That would also be nice. We got a lot of level twos at this point though. That's nice. Uh, maybe pull you back a bit so you get to heal like that. Okay. And we'll leave it at that. We'll try to save up some tokens. I'm feeling fairly confident right now. Looks like it's just more spinny guys. It is. Okay, a lot of them. That's kind of boring, but whatever. Easy pickings. And we didn't get anything. Okay, but 20 tokens. Let's teleport down here. So 97 food right now. We do not pay to teleport. I didn't know that. Well, now, now we do for sure. What do we have here? Can't take any more. Don't you dare. One more push. Ah! What is happening? Damn it. Another zombie bites the dust. Zombies aren't known for their durability. What's going on here? Isn't it obvious? I was charging the battery. Uh huh. We do have an egghead like this guy, so maybe we, that will do something. But the zombie part of the machine broke. It, the zombie was scaring him into running, I guess. There is a lab with T virus samples on this level. Bring me one and I'll shower you with gifts. You want me to bring you a virus that turns people into bloodthirsty monsters? To frighten a poor slave into producing power for you? I'll give you 25 tokens. So where did you say this lab was? I've marked it on your map. I'll be waiting. Okay. Oh, I was about to say we have explored the whole thing, but it, a new room has popped up. Okay, so we're going to do that. 25 tokens. And we can teleport there so we don't spend too much food walking around. We do pay to walk into this room here. And we do have to fight for it, probably fighting zombies. So that's kind of scary. Yes, I think they can spread the virus if they kill the unit, but they won't. No. And we do get tokens fighting them too. Seems like the T-Virus already escaped. Glad no one got affected. Oh, shite. <laughs> Yar, yeah, that's good brains. Oops. Guess we'd better pay the mad scientist another visit. So I do get... What do we have here? Unique, not related to any class. He's got 1,350 health. High attack, but we could keep this guy. High movement speed. So he's like a super duper tank. Like, so much health and... Not that high attack, to be fair. Uh, I mean, this guy is a, a damage dealer, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know if we should keep him. Maybe we should. He's got low movement speed, but you could like put him up here and he's just like an HP sponge. Uh, 
he's not put on the list there. Yeah, not related to any class. Hmm. 25 tokens for him. But if I did that... Oh, it was a, a sword guy that turned into him. So they're kind of lucky, I guess, because we, I mean, we would rather not have lost him. Uh, any or there, I could have mentioned someone else here that I would rather keep, at least. Okay. So I suppose there's a, ch a choice to make. We can try to keep him, but I think I will try to do the event and just see what happens. And then we can, next time I might keep the zombie if we ever get this event again. There's been an oops, the T-Virus escaped and then Nika got infected. Are infected. Well, that's even better. I can't make her human again, but she's welcome to stay here. The benefits include a daily portion of brains. What reward do you prefer? 25 tokens or secret knowledge. Oh, we gotta do the secret knowledge. Your eggheads can now summon buff tourists much faster. Oh no, that was terrible. Got an achievement for it though. Knowledge is power. Help the scientists with the T virus. Cool, okay. Here, buff tires are built 500% faster. All right. So now we just gotta, I mean, we gotta get some more eggheads to activate the ability in the first place. Unfortunate. I really want the mana bonus so that the fencers can start utilizing the resurrection. But I also kind of need to do something before we go to the boss, I think. So I think we buy maybe the fast reload or the health bonus. Fast reload is better than the health bonus, I think, because of the healers triggering their thing more often. Uh, we can restore manage more more quickly there, okay. So we lost a guy doing that event. That's kind of annoying. Yeah. This could be rough. Okay, it's just spinny guys for the most part. And that boss there doesn't do that much uh, direct damage. It's mostly spreading fire. That's his thing. He attacks all, set all enemies in an, area, in an area on fire, but the healers are good at countering that. They're, they're out of mana now, look at that. So they're not healing right now. Yeah, so starting with more mana is good for them, to be fair. Oh, and we have one point away, one token away from being able to afford the mana upgrade. Too bad. Wheel of Misfortune. The humans come across a holographic smiling skeleton with most of its neon skin peeling off. It stands next to a wheel that looks like a giant dartboard. Spin the wheel, spin the wheel, spin the wheel. The hologram is quite Gucci. Of course we'll spin the wheel. Wheel of misfortune. And you hit a prize wedge. You won a mutation. A useful explosive mutation. From now on, your humans will blow up when they die. For for true art is explosive. Interesting. That might combo with my resurrection thing. It only deals damage to enemies, indeed. Aha! And now I know we were saving up our uh, money, but we do need to buy Excalibur. Excalibur is another fencer class item. And so now we will be activating... Um the the way to die because the fencers will be getting their ability critical hit so they do 1.4 percent of their damage uh every 20 well with, with a 10 20 percent chance to activate that but 1.18 times more likely to trigger that so i don't know i i can't do the math on that right now but uh suffice to say it's gonna hit critical hits more often. And then Excalibur itself is a really good item compared to the Justice Sword. Uh, 40, 165, and here it's what? 85, 310, 10, right? And this isn't even, uh, this guy is not even leveled up. Now, yeah. so he's better. Almost as good as a tank. Well, maybe better in some essences or in some ways. The chainsaw would be another way to upgrade that even further because this is also a fencer item. Uh, do you start with more mana, sir? You do not. He starts with less mana. Damn. Plus 30 mana 
that would give him the resurrection ability also. And if I buy the chainsaw, we would need even more, but we do need more stuff. Now, I think we leave it at that for now. Get you up front. A lot of people are hurt right now, so we really gotta be careful. Lots of little dudes. Okay. Hmm. Do I need to change anything about my setup? No. Fight. And they have fences. This is a healer. We managed not to lose anyone. Nice. And we get a free mutation. Uh, slowing attack. Eggheads slow the enemy's attack by 30% for 5 seconds on their own attack. Cool. Here, penetrating shot. Shooters shoot a penetrating shot that deal damage to all enemies behind the primary target. Okay, and we, have, we also have a thrower, so slowing attack. Throwers slow the enemy's attack by 30%. Okay, so the same. Interesting. We already have an egghead upgrade, so it, it might be that one, but I think it would be really nice to get a fencer upgrade. So let's try to reroll this. None of these are like bad, but I'm sure that we can get something better. Like this. Fencers heal themselves for 7% of damage dealt. And steady footing for tanks. Tanks can't be knocked down. And then here, deja vu. Allows you to go back in time once to a time when all your puny humans were still alive. Mutiva mutation active. Interesting. Now we'll get the, the vampires and the fences. For sure. So they will resurrect and then come back dealing uh, healing as well. So now we buy the mana bonus. Look at that. He can resurrect, he can resurrect. Now we put them up front to be the super tanks because they will respawn. And these guys are also very wounded, so that doubles down as being a good idea, I think. All right, very excited for this run right now. Very good. Um, with that in mind though, we have gone about above the 30 minutes, so I think that's a good episode length. And I will say thank you guys as always for watching, and I hope you stay tuned for more Despots game. They're usually fairly short, the runs. I don't think more than an hour per full run. But, I mean, maybe if we win, we'll go longer. And then we'll do more after that. We gotta play it on the hardest level and try all the, all the other different start mechanics. Uh, for now, though, see you tomorrow with more Despots game. And bye-bye. Uh,